Okay, a quick demo of my new arcade camera, Arcade Universe. You'll see across the um, top there on the marquee. And Dofflink's running um, MX, MX and other toys uh, from main games. So using Pinup Popper as a menu, um, you'll see the Arcade Universe uh, up the top. That's the name of my cabinet, so I've just got that displaying. If we uh, kick off a game, uh, go to Favourites, you'll notice as I go through and select from the menu, you've got the um, marquee actually changing there. I'll get Gallagher, we'll kick that off. You've noticed the buttons here will change colours as everything gets started up as well. Different things will come on. So Namco is the game manufacturer and is displaying on the uh, letter ray at the moment. Right, we're game up and going. Put a coin in, we should see some player buttons coming up there. You see that one's actually starting to flash, which is the one player that's an output from the main game and is then being captured by Dofflinks and turning into uh, uh, the flashing button. So as we kick off, we'll play just for a moment and have a bit of a look. You'll see the shooting effect up the side and as different scores are reached you'll see the effects on the MX LEDs. There's actually oh, just hit the pause button, there's actually effects happening that's because of pause, It's actually uh, flashes up the top here um, you can't see those because of where I've got the array at the moment. I plan to put some other uh, flashes under here later on, standard five flashes just above the speakers. Uh, if we unpause that You see the effects continue. If I exit from that game, back to the menu, might pick uh, 1941. Start there. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Marquee stays as the game actually gets going. Capcom, as the manufacturer, comes up. It's fairly bright. I haven't uh, got all the uh, brightnesses and things right yet. Also, not very good at doing videos. So we can start this one. One player again. Different set of colours on the buttons. I've got RGB buttons across there, so any particular game. And then into the game. And various effects coming up on the MX array. Very dependent on the scores and what's actually going on at the time. So if we exit out of that game, you can see all the effects happening. And then I actually go to Mario Brothers. That's actually Super Nintendo Mario Brothers, so NES. So I've also got these effects happening for NES. So we'll start that one up. Again, you can see it's the Super Nintendo banner up top. Got to remember which keys to use now because different ones have actually highlighted. Got there eventually. I have got a cheat sheet of where the keys are. So you notice the effects on the up top there based off of the actual score that's happening at the time. See if we can get some score at the end here to see the effects that come up. So as the score runs up, more effects. Didn't quite run up far enough to fire the knocker. I've got knockers and solenoids in there as well, um, but I think you get the idea. So you've got all classic games, and now with Dofflinks running version of main to capture scores, you can actually trigger events based off the score that comes up.